Okay, so this question has been haunting some of my top performers on the SAT. And it's a very long and sort of complicated question if you do this algebraic way. So I'm not going to walk you through the algebraic way of doing this. I found a cheat code and it works 100% of the time. So just do this in the future. If you see this question, you are going to examine this parenthesis right here. Can you factor anything out of this is the first thing you want to ask yourself. Is it factorable? Can you take anything out of it? If yes, then do so. It's going to be, in this case, we can, right? We can factor something out of that parentheses. What can we factor out? And a 4. So we take out a 4. We are left with a 4a plus b, then c plus ab equals 0. So now, the rest of this is super simple. Whatever you took out, whatever is here, it's going to always be that number divided by this number. So it's going to be 4 over 64. And don't even worry about the negative before this number. It's literally this, and when you simplify it, it's 1 16th. That's the cheat code to this type of question. So if you see it, don't fret. Let me actually make up another one for you so you understand. I'm going to make one up where you don't have to factor anything out. For example, let's say we have 23x squared minus 5a plus 3b plus ab equals 0. Find the value of k that satisfies this. Again, since we can't factor anything out of this, there's nothing that we can factor out. We know that there's a coefficient of 1 right here. So the answer to this would be this number over this number. So it's, it's just 1 over 23. Simple as that. Don't try to understand anything further than that. Just do this and you will automatically get the question right.